Do you know how to tell the difference between directories and files in the LS TAC L output? What about the different types of files? Did you even know that there were different types of files in Linux? Did you know there are device files? Let me show you. Right here. This is actually the slash dev directory, and that's exactly what the slash dev directory is for, device files. There are four different types of device files. Today, we're going to talk about two of them, block and character devices. This is B from Taytalk Tech, and today I'm going to explain to you block and character devices in Linux. Stick with me. I have a favor to ask. If you like this type of video and want to see more content like it, make sure you are subscribed and hit the bell button for notification. Also, don't forget to give this video a like if you like it. Let me know what you liked, didn't like, or if you have any comments, questions, concerns, or emotional outbursts down in the comments section below. And lastly, make sure you stick around all the way to the end to get the most out of this video. Let's do this thing. So it's been a while since I've said this in a video on this channel, but everything in Linux is a file, including devices. Hence that slash dev directory we just talked about. There are actually four types of device files. There are block, character, pipes, and sockets. Uh, these devices uh, came up while I was preparing for a future video and I asked why do these files look funny compared to regular files and like that I'm used to interacting with. I knew there were device files and I can identify them in the slash dev directory, but it's mostly because I've just come across them in my Linux journey and just kind of accepted those files, but never really looked at them any closer. Um, honestly, like when, like until recently, I couldn't even tell based on the LS uh, attack L output. It was, it was, you know, files are files, you know? Yeah, of course there's a difference between directories and files and, and stuff like that. But, you know, I, I didn't have the greatest of understandings. Um, but from the, um, like when, when I showed you that output earlier, were you able to tell the difference between the different types of files just by looking at it? Say if you didn't have any knowledge on the different types of files, are there being any types of files, would you have been able to tell? I'm sure if you looked at it enough, did enough searching in man pages, probably yes. But you know, it's, this is just one of those things that we don't typically stop, slow down and look at and actually understand what it is until it actually comes up when in, in the line of your work when you're actually trying to accomplish something. You know, so today I wanted to focus on block and cipher, uh, I'm sorry, block and character files. Um, I will cover pipes and sockets at some point in time in the future. I'm not exactly sure when, uh, but just make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss that. Now, let's talk about identifying different types of files. So, of course, when you're looking at the LS tech L output, you've got regular files, which are these ones right here. You're just going to see that tack or that dash, that minus sign, whatever you want to call it at the beginning. That's how you're going to know it's a regular file. And keep in mind, there can be different types of regular files. It can be a text file, PDF file, image file, all that stuff, but they're all categorized the same as regular files. Then you also have directories, which start with a D. Right there. And then here we have block devices, which is going to be this one right here. Then we're going to have character devices, which will be, whoops, not that, not that. Stay over there. <laughs> going to be this one right here. And then we'll also have symbolic links. That let me let me actually show that to you. You're on this Fedora laptop. LS, tack L, we're going to do root. And then here we go. It's going to be these L's right here. So you'll have a tack for the regular file, a D for directory, B for block device, C for character device, and L for symbolic link. If you're looking at a socket, uh, it's going to be an S. And then if you're looking at a pipe, it's going to be a P. I'm not going to give you any more information on that just because I'm not covering that in this video. Uh, and these are the seven most common uh, file types in Linux. So the more you know, I actually listed these in a short that I did yesterday. So hopefully you caught it. All right. So now let's go ahead and talk more about the difference between block and character device files. Now, block devices. These are going to be your slower devices such as hard drives and SSDs. Um, you know, you may think of an SSD as fast, but, you know, an SSD is typically not going to be faster than your than your RAM, at least not at this point in time. Uh, program access, uh, access, programs access these blocks in uh, either, um, these, I'm sorry, these devices in either blocks or chunks of data. Uh, these blocks will be configured by the device and will be fixed. So, you know, let's just say 
this this one specific device, every time it transfers data, it transfers it in 512 megabyte blocks. So that device will do that every single time, so it's fixed. But it will vary depending on the actual device that's sending the data. Um, these blocks will be configured by the device and will be fixed. Uh, NVMe SSDs are different. Um, with these, you actually see their controllers listed as character devices, but the actual storage uh, blocks are block devices. So let me go ahead and show all of this to you here. Let's clear this out. And what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and do ls tack l, and then we're going to do forward slash dev, and we're going to do ss. Uh, we're going to, I'm sorry, we're going to do SDA, and then we're going to do a star. And then these right here are the actual, this is the actual device. And here are the actual block device or partitions that are on that device. And we can see that all four of those have a B there. Now let's, let's go ahead and look at my test server here. And if we go in here and we do an LS tech L dev, and then we do NVMe, and then we do the star. And we can see here, we have two of these. There's two separate NVMe drives in this server. We have this one right here is zero, and then we have one. We can see here that we have C and C, and then we have one, two, three, four, and then we have two here. So we can see the difference there between the SSD and the um, and the NVMe storage. And, and NVMe is like, it's super fast, like NAND flash storage. So it's like SSDs, but on, but on, on steroids, and then, um, <laughs> Uh, I guess regular hard drives on steroids and human growth home are. And so, uh, you know, uh, they're super fast. They're super, super fast. Um, you know, a lot of laptops these days, that's pretty much what they're, ro they're rocking. Even most, a lot of, not most, but a lot of desktops also have them. And it's what most of us look to put in our computers when we build them or buy them. All right, so let's go ahead and also talk about character devices. Now, character devices are going to be faster devices that work with data streams, such as computer RAM and... Um, keyboards. So let's go ahead and actually, let's go ahead and go over here. We'll do this one again. Let's do, let's do ls, pack l, and we're going to do dev mem. Go. We can see that right here. There's the, there's the device's memory. And yeah, we can see that that's got that C there. So that's definitely um, illustrating our point here. Now, programs access these in streams of data. There is no fixed size of this data, further differentiating it from block devices and reinforcing that it should be a separate type. Now, let's go ahead and talk about the differences between um, major and minor identifiers. So when we're looking at this output, you notice one thing you'll probably notice right off the bat. And, and, you know, here is, uh, whoops, let's let's clear this out. Let me just show you something here. Let's do ls tech l. All right, so when we're looking at this output, and actually, let's just do one. Okay, so here we go. Here is a directory file. We know that because it's got the D here at the front. Here's our permissions. And then here we got our owners, our owner, user and our owner group. And then here we actually have the size. Now, when we're looking at this output files, size makes sense. But then you go over here and you, you notice it's like one comma one. Is that like one byte, one megabyte? Like, what is that? And that's actually what got me started on this topic. Cause I was like, I don't understand what this means. And what these are is these are major and minor identifiers. Now, major and minor identifiers are located in the ls tech l output where the size of a regular file would be, which is hint right here. And then this other stuff here is the same. There's the date, there's the time, and then there's the there's the um, name of the file. So all that stuff is still there. Now, this first number, which is going to be this one right here, this is going to be um, this is going to be the major, and the second one is going to be the minor. Now, the major identifies the type of device. So, you know, think uh, SSD, think memory, think CPU, um, you know, something like that. And it'll it'll vary depending on what components you have in your system, as well as the distribution of Linux and, and, and all that stuff, how this will get set. But this is generally how it goes. And there's going to be a lot of stuff in that. Like, I'm going to show you a file here in just a second. There's going to be a lot of devices. You're just not going to be sure what they are. And if you need and if you wanted to go and look for that, you could you could actually go out and search 
but you know um that that is not something that i would be doing unless i was absolutely desperate and there's other ways on your system to find out what devices you have that are much easier much um um <laughs> much less uh you know psychosis inducing because you have to go out there and do all that searching so um but yeah and then um minor minor identifiers identifies the actual individual device so so this right here eight is actually for um, SSDs, and then this is this is zero, this is one, this is two, this is three, which we can actually see corresponds with SDA, SDA, SDA one, SDA two, and SDA three. All right, now this is the file I was just talking about, which is going to be the it's going to be the let's do a cat rock devices. And this will actually show you the device. There's quite a bit of output here. We can see here that up here it starts with character devices, and yep, there's our memory right there. And we notice that we don't have the eight here and we can see that that this would line up with the one that's there for the memory and then if we come down here right here this is our actual um solid state drive it's eight so that's how that's that lines up with this one right here so that's what that device is and um yeah and you can also see like if you're looking for them for specifically for storage devices you can also get the major and minor numbers from lsblk and I'd, I'd seen that before, but I was like, oh, huh, interesting. I noticed the correlation between like this and that, but I was like, oh, hey, this eight must be some type of identifier. And, you know, so um, I'm glad that now I have a much better understanding of what those are. And and you also have a much better understanding of, um, of, of character devices and block devices. So go out there and, uh, you know, learn more Linux. Um, remember mistake. Oh, I'm sorry. Go check out this other video from my channel. If you haven't already, uh, remember mistakes make you better. So keep on making them. Thank you so much for watching this video and have the greatest of days.